Hi, this is Mr. Gray, and I've put together this little tutorial here to just give you some tips uh, on how to scan your documents and save them to the Dropbox, and scan them in such a way that they'll actually fit into the Dropbox. So I'm going to use Photoshop for this demo. Most schools will have this software, and it allows us to actually import directly from the scanner. There's my uh, Cano scan right there. That's my scanner. This first window that comes up here will let us actually scan the documents in. Uh, I like to go to advanced mode because that gives you more options. Um, right here it tells you what your data size will be. So if I just scan everything as is, I'm going to have a 25 meg file. That's way too big. First thing I want to do is change from color to grayscale. In physics, most of your solutions, color is not going to be important. So if you switch to grayscale, that will cut your file size uh, down to about a third of what it would have been otherwise. So we're about 8 megs there. Uh, next thing you want to do is change your output resolution. I want to change that down to at least 150. If you have really neat handwriting, you probably get away with 100 pretty easily there. So now I'm down to 2 megs. Now I'm going to preview my image. And the image that you're going to see here is a note from a student uh, in a 3U biology class, I believe. Something about viruses. And next thing that I want to do after I previewed that, I want to actually shrink this area around my note, or around my solutions, if that's what it was, down as small as it can be and still show everything that I need to, to see there. Then I'll scan that smaller area. You can see over here, now we're down to about 1.5 megs of actual data size, and we're going to flatten that even more once we get back into Photoshop here, we'll save it with a JPEG format, which will actually compress it even further from 1.5 megs. So we've done our scan. We'll close that. Here's our output image. And we are going to save this file as a JPEG format. And we'll save it in our For You Physics folder. OK, so there's our folder we are going to save. I'm going to say OK to that. And our file is saved. Let's go into My Documents over here. So remember, we started out with 25 megs. We chopped that down to 1.5 megabytes. And now, if we have a look in our For You Physics folder, we should see Untitled 1 JPEG. That's the file we just scanned. And it is about 380K. Okay, you can probably even drop your resolution a little more if your handwriting is legible enough. And we'll see what this looks like. That's very readable, other than the fact that the handwriting might not be quite as neat as it could be. And if we zoom it to actual size, you can see we've got more than enough detail at 150 dots per inch. If you drop that down to 100 or even 75, as long as it's still legible, uh, that will... Uh, drop your file size even more. Okay, So if you have a really long assignment, you have many pages to scan in, uh, following those instructions should make your life a lot easier.